Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Modern Overman. Okay, today I've got a bit of a shorter video for you today, but I think it's still important to show. Now, we're getting to the tail end of Desolation's Wake, uh, the, the current event, um, but I'm guessing there won't be long in between this event and the next one. Uh, I'm hoping that we get a, a, a new look at the map, an engine update, um, here coming soon. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be the next update, so we'll see. But I want to keep in mind that what Crytek tends to do is that they like to carry things over. They like to experiment with stuff. And even from, I believe, either David Fifield's uh, mouth, the, the current Hunt General Manager, or maybe even from um, Dennis, uh, the lead game designer, they mentioned something maybe a while ago uh, last couple of events ago, where they they like to introduce elements that quote unquote break the game, um, which is interesting, you know. And and sometimes I feel like the way that things are going in Hunt are probably for the worst direction. But I think in the devs' minds, they're trying to do things to bring in new players. This is obviously uh, a fact, in, in, considering that every new event, the player count jumps up, and then in between those events, the player count dies incredibly low. And so it sort of makes sense, again, from the devs' point of view, to to continue to introduce these uh, events with new and exciting things to do. Um, you know, so like Vanilla Hunt is now sort of event showdown. So anyway, with that in mind, you know, this current event, the packs that are available are interesting. Uh, for the most part, in my games, I have been playing the Primal Pact, so that way I can get Berserker and kill bosses much more quickly. And, you know, that just... Again, I, at this point, you should know my philosophy in playing the game. is like I like to go to kill the boss, get it killed as quickly as possible, um, and take over that boss lair. And, you know, just bring in players to me because people want to go towards the bounty, at least in theory. Um, but for this game that I'm showing you today, I'm going to be using the Nitro. And I'm sure lots of people have thoughts on the Nitro. I used to not like it, especially going up against players who were good with it. I felt like I was just getting destroyed with it and it was OP. And, you know, it's just, it just felt kind of ridiculous, especially when they added the Shredder ammo to it. It just felt like uh, you know, insult to injury. Um, now, of course, you know, I've, as you know, in some of my videos, I have used the Nitro and I've tried to get good with it and try to um, have fun with it. Now, I still feel the same way. Like, the Nitro is a weird, weird gun. I mean, yes, it fits within the game's world, but it is ridiculous in its strength and power. And the fact that the Shredder Rounds still have penetration power and do intense bleeding, um, it's it's kind of... It's kind of insane. I mean, like, if you think about it, like, all the sort of special ammo guns, should they have really gotten custom ammo, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, especially when you take into consideration the Dolch getting bleed and and FMJ rounds, it is just kind of ridiculous. I mean, it, it's they're just throwing anything at the, at the wall. But with that in mind and the Nitro being such a big ammo suck, you know, you, you really should be taking at least one or two ammo boxes when you take it. But with the lawful pact that is currently available uh, in this event, that you get ammo back every time that you uh, loot somebody as long as you have pack mule and you're, and you're uh, tied to that pact, tied to the lawful pact. Um, so taking the nitro doesn't feel as taxing when you're, you know, miss a shot or you're, you know, you're just using it throughout the game. You can just go loot a body and get ammo back. The other key here is that Peacekeeper allows you to gain a health bar back um, every time you loot a dead body. So once you've been downed once and you get back up, as long as you loot a body, then you can gain health bars back. And so um, now Crytek made a statement a few weeks ago at this point, maybe a month ago, saying that, hey, like players shouldn't abuse this. Um, it's raising their stats or lowering their stats one way or another. Um, you know, to basically be used as an exploit in the game. And now, while I'm not going around using this all the time, I'm not trying to exploit the game, I can see why they would make a statement like that, because it is absolutely ridiculous. And I want to highlight in this game in particular why it is. And it just goes to show that a perk like Peacekeeper, tied to the Lawful Pact, 
in a, addition to having Necro as a solo, Necromancer, bringing yourself back um, from a revive pretty quickly, mind you, it almost is like there are no consequences to taking risks and and basically making like losing strategies but implementing losing strategies like it, the game rewards you for that sort of thing and if you see my last video um on not using necromancer you can see the difference right like there's a there's a little bit more of a risk and if you're if you're not careful you're just domed and you're you're done you're done with now it doesn't really matter right that it's you know if you're not trying to play this game super competitively it's not a huge deal but I think it's interesting the differences when you play with Necro versus when you don't. Um, and I think that in the long run, taking Necro, using Peacekeeper just to get your health bars back, it's, I, I think it makes you a worse player. And uh, you can see, let me, let me just show you. Right now I'm a three-star. And that's because I go into games, I use Necro, and like people just kill me over and over again, but I keep going until I can you know, kill everybody. And you'll see that in this match. So in the end, it's, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. The state of the game is very weird. Um, and yet here we are. And I'll just show you right now kind of what I've, what I've got for this match. I've got the Nitro with Shredder rounds. Again, it's insane. I've got um, the uppercut precision. And then, yeah, just one ammo box. And normally I would take two with the Nitro, but with Peacekeeper, um, or sorry, rather, uh, uh, Pack Mule, you just you you don't need it really. You can just keep looting ammo uh, from players. So anyway, well, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and get into it? I'll show you the match and um, just how ridiculous this game is. Okay, thanks. That's a good start. Oh my god, get up! What the fuck?
this is totally not a headshot, by the way. If you look at it uh, very closely here, I actually shoot off just slightly to the right of her head or, or my left, and the game just decided to give me a headshot. So I guess thanks, Dennis. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> 